then I kept adding cows and I married in 1949 to a wonderful girl and uh, her people were ranch people and we uh, moved to up to Lynn County and, and at Tahoka and I leased part of the T-Bar Ranch, a pretty small part to start with and then later on I got some more of the country and anyway I had uh, 800 second calf heifer calving in 1953 when the major drought hit up there and uh, I went into the fall in 52 with plenty of grass and, and not overstocked and my grass started blowing away up there about, in about the first of February and we had tremendous sandstorms up there just day and night for three days in a row and then they'd quit a day and then they'd blow the same way from the other direction and my grass literally blew away and I had also with the 800 cows I had about 800 year and the market had been pretty slow and I got them sold there at the first of the year of 53 but I agreed to winter them and I so I wintered them and uh, delivered them the first of April and I sold those cattle back in January for 28 cents a pound. And the 15th of April, I delivered them and they were worth 15 cents a pound. At that time, we gave a 10% cut on all our cattle. So this fella cut uh, 40, there were 400 of them, is what I sold that way. And uh, he cut 40. Uh, out and they were really some of the better end of cattle. I thought, well, shoot, I'll keep them until uh, it would probably rain in, in here in the spring. It was 15th of April then. Well, it didn't. And uh, the 1st of June, we all decided it never was going to rain. And uh, I loaded up that 40 head of yearlings and sent them to Fort Worth. And uh, they brought eight cents a pound. And, and uh, they told me, I have a friend that lived at Fort Worth and he told me that he kind of checked up and he thought that was the cheapest cattle that ever sold through the 53 drug. And uh, anyway, I decided I had to move my cows and I moved, I sold 400 of them to a man for $67.50 a pair for a second calf cow with the calf buyer side. Wow. And those... The bread back, Bill? Huh? Or the bread back? Yeah. I read one. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. they had they, a they. bread back, had a heifer, or had a calf on the side, a second calf heifer for that kind of money. I mean, right now they cost about two thousand. Right. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Bill, I, my question. All right. When you talk about loading them cattle, you that the the railroad still, right? 
Right. Shipped them on the railroad. Yeah, so I shipped them to Colorado on the railroad. And I'm talking the, about them cattle from to Fort Worth. They were 400. Oh, no. They went on the truck. Did they? Yeah. Okay. And it cost quite a bit to get them down there, and the more than they brought, well, it cost a lot. That. I moved the cattle to Colorado, and uh, they made a deal with the government, the railroads did, that they, if we would ship them up there, then they would haul them back here at no cost in the fall of the year. So I thought that was a good deal. And uh, I got my cows all loaded on the train going to Colorado and I had everything loaded up to beat them to the ranch, where, uh, to the town where I could receive them at Alamosa. And uh, my banker called and said, Bill, that fella's check didn't cash for the cash. And I had to leave the next morning. I knew that to beat those cattle up there because there's nobody there to receive and it put a little bit of pressure on me yeah. and finally I called him and he laughed and he said Bill you send check back it'll clear now and I did and it did but I was in Colorado when I found out that it did clear. <laughs> and uh, we, uh, you know, everyone nearly went broke in 53 in the cow business, or not broke, but really were hurt very bad because it was a huge drought. There was nowhere to move to. I looked for, well, probably two months. I was out on the road trying to find a place to move to because I knew I was going to have a crash. And I never could make a deal anywhere. And uh, it was because we had a lot of cattle. And cattle had been high. Now they were worth nothing because when they started down, you couldn't give them away. They got as cheap as nearly the everything. So I got to Colorado and we had disaster practically every day we were up there. We had all kinds of things happen to us, personal, with cattle, with everything else. But we made it through the fall, to the fall, and I intended to come back here at that time anyway. And uh, we had uh, two children at this time, my oldest daughter and oldest boy. And uh, then later on, we had two more children, a girl and a boy. Did they happen to be twins? Or? No. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> Four different children. And... Uh, Anyway, we got ready. Well, we got our kids got moved up there with us, and uh, grandparents brought them up. And the little boy got sick. And just before that happened, I had jumped out of a feed trough little out of balance and landed on my hands and broke my wrist in three places. And the doctor had fixed that. And then the little boy got sick and we took him there to Alamosa and the doctor told us after a day, he said, Bill, we've got to get him somewhere else. His fever is running real high and said, we don't know what's wrong with him. And 
Patty got on the plane and flew him to Denver to Children's Hospital and they sent us a page full of the things that he did not have, but they never did decide what he did have. But they did get his fever stuff finally in and he was all right and that was the main thing. We saved him. And while she was gone with him, well, I had the little girl with me, and my neighbor had a cow over there on us, and I pinned her, and he came over with his trailer to load her. And I got in the pen with the cow, and it was a real tall fence of, of rail about seven foot high, eight. And I put the little girl over to the side <laughs> to sit there and told her plainly what to do, you know. And I had her sitting down back over there where I could watch her. And I started with trying to get the fella to, he, he was trying to back up. He had to pull up. And just as he decided to pull up, I looked over there, and my little girl had gone. Is it Kathy or Chris? She had, was trying to crawl up in the back of his pickup. And I was in that pen, no way to get out, and I hollered at him. And he was already moving and knocked her down, and she fell in that front dual trailer wheel ran right over the side of her head, mashed her face and head out of the line, bad, and tore her eyebrow off and, and just, I, I, I thought we'd kill her, even when we started to the hospital. We got her to the hospital and seemed like her head started shape, kind of shaping up straighter again. And after she was there a while, it did straighten up. And where in a, oh, the second day, you couldn't tell it was misshapen at all. The bones just went back together. And uh, she didn't get any brain damage, it just was surface damage. And so I had my arm broken. I had Willie in Denver in the hospital, and the little girl in the hospital there. And uh, <laughs> I had a young horse I'd been riding and I'd push up cattle every day and uh, he'd, he was a gentle as bronc as I ever had and I saddled him up that morning and got on him and I had that rope on and that son of a gun just started pitching me and all I could ever decide it was the cast or something and uh, I finally got a hold of rain and, and pulled his head up, and he just kept pitching with his head right up, straight up in the air. <laughs> I've got him rolled and got him stopped, and we went on and drove the cows to feed and that kind of stuff. But. We had trouble every day, and when I decided to leave, I found out that the railroad had said they would not ship our cattle back for nothing. So that didn't happen. I had to pay for that. And I didn't ship them back by railroad. I hired trucks. And uh, I sold a bunch of my cows.
And I think I shipped back about a hundred cattle back here, and I sold my uh, about I don't know three, four, no four, five hundred years, and uh, in Colorado, and uh, I guess about four hundred cattle. And uh, they brought the cows. Brought they were by themselves. The calves just been stripped off. And the cows brought a hundred dollars up there. And the, uh, the calves brought, I believe, eighteen cents, which they had been bringing. Ten cents right there at Alamosa, and I shipped them over across the mountains there and I brought 18. But uh, everything that we did, I had a cow we missed, <laughs> and we were going to catch her and load her in the trailer. This was the last cow I had. I there and the guy that was with me was watching the cow and I caught her and had her there at the trailer and said, Roy, tell me when to go and he hollered, hit it, hit it and sure enough when I did I loaded her and she'd had a back leg hung under the trailer and broke her behind leg. So that ended my cow business in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs>